Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design, and I'm at it again. I'm still mining, and we're still building computers and having fun with that stuff. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be basically taking all this stuff and stuffing it into this PC, but I want to hit the ground running in this video right now because we got a lot to cover, and also um, this PC is still warm. I just shut it down, and we're going to be swapping out the, PC, the uh, CPU on that. And I'm not sure if that's what you guys do too when you're doing that, but I like to do it when it's warm. So that way, because here we got the, uh, the CPU fan, that's the cooler on it, and the CPU is below that. And um, I want to get in there while it's still warm, and because uh, that pace, when it's cold, you can have a problem with messing things up. And I don't want to do that, so I want to I want to get in here while it's still warm and pull this fan off of the CPU. So we're in here and it's an AMD style so we got these little clips on either side and I'm going to be pushing it down and releasing it off of there. And see, let me get started explaining what we're doing here. This is um, this is a PC I bought like a few years ago and uh, really cheap, I don't know, maybe uh, it was less than $500. We just use this on our uh, on our TV just to you know watch YouTube videos, browse the web and stuff like that, and we like to um, watch some movies and this kind of stuff. So hmm. maybe it's not all that warm because it still feels like it's kind of stuck on there. All right, there we go. Okay, it broke away. Good. So yeah, you can see the paste and what I'm talking about. There's the old CPU, and uh, we're going to be swapping that out. So I'm going to disconnect this from the motherboard here and there now at least we got that part of it done So I'm going to set that aside and then maybe what we can do is just show you here What we got and explain what we're going to be doing. You can see how real simple this is. It's a a320 M HDV board I've used a lot of these and they're good, but they're um, simple and kind of down and dirty and cheap now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to be a GPU mining with this CPU mining and also, uh, we're going to be doing some light gaming with it and um, watching some uh, movies, videos, stuff like that. So we're going to, uh, to do that, we're going to stuff this uh, 3070 Ti in there. I've done a build like this before, and basically it seems like this is like the biggest card that you can stuff into here just because of the, uh, the space that you have. I'd love to throw like a 3090 in there or something, but I think this is the biggest that we're going to be able to be lucky to stuff into this case. Um, I've used this board. If you've seen on my other videos, I have. I've used this board on an open style case, and I've been able to stuff you know bigger cards in there, which is great. But I want to keep it in this uh, in this case and uh, reuse a lot of this stuff. But you see, what we're going to do is uh, we got the AMD Ryzen 9 3900 CPU that we're going to put in here because this is just like a really simple, cheap CPU. Um, this one I think is the best CPU that we can get for this motherboard right there and, it, and I'm using this on other boards right now, uh, uh, CPU mining, and it's working out really well. So then we're going to use that CPU and um, it comes with a cooler, but we're going to be using this cooler here. It's an ND, uh, NHD15. I like this much better than the stock cooler, especially because they get pretty warm when you're CPU mining with them. We got a, a better PSU that we're going to stuff in there to be able to handle this stuff. Not like we're going to be driving that much more, but we are going to have a decent gra graphics card and um, some other stuff we're adding in there. So I wanted to pop a better PSU in there. And then we got some fans. We're going to pop in an NVMe drive for the uh, OS. We're going to run uh, Windows on the regular OS, and then for mining, we're going to use Hive OS. I like to use these. It's a uh, SanDisk, like a, it's like a little 32 gig uh, flash drive. These things are real cheap, and then we pop them in there, and then you can boot your Hive OS over that and uh, dual boot if you want, um, you know, with a with a Windows system on it as well. So of course we got some uh, thermal paste. I'm going to be adding Bluetooth in there. And that we're going to pop another hard drive in. We don't really need to do that, but I'm going to be using this PC to uh, mirror another PC. So we're just going to add another hard drive in there to keep up with that. And uh, when we go in and do this, 
I think it's a good idea for us to replace the battery on the motherboard. We'll talk about that in a second there. So that's what we're going to be doing. I got some hardware and some tools here. I think that we have everything that we're going to need. I got some extra cables that we're going to probably bust into. But um, just to go over what we bought really quick here, the Ryzen. Uh, right now on eBay, I got that for about 300 bucks. That's pretty nice. I think I've seen that a um, few, uh, few months back, these things were going about uh, 600 or something. So that's pretty good. And uh, this is the cooler for the CPU the uh, Nocturna NHD15. Um, I've used this on other PCs and I've had, uh, it seems like it, it works really good. It keeps the, the CPU is running uh, less than 50 degrees when you're, you know, uh, hardcore mining you know, on a CPU on it, which without, I've seen, I've seen it run over like, you know, 90 plus degrees. So um, I like that for keeping it cool. And um, I'm hoping this one has the two fans, uh, like it shows in the picture right there. That'll be really nice. So, of course, there's the uh, 3070 Ti graphics card that we're going to be putting in there. Um, these, obviously, you guys have seen the prices are coming down on graphics cards lately, so a great opportunity to take advantage of that. Uh, there's the PSU that we're going with, another Topower 1800 watt. I've used these and had uh, good success with that. Seems like they... Um, they work really well, and I know it fits in this case and works with all these other components because, like I said, I built another computer just like this uh, before. So there's the NVMe hard drive. Um, Pick that up for about 100 bucks. Uh, this should work out really well and uh, boot nice and fast. So there, again, is the USB flash drive that I'm talking about that I like to run. See, it's really cheap you know, to run your Hive OS on something like that. Uh, tell your BIOS to boot from that thing or just pop it out when you want to... Uh, boot from Windows and I think that works great. So we got this uh, cable here and this is uh, this is going to let you go from the display port to the HDMI. I think this will be nice. Uh, we're hooking this up to a 4K TV so I'm hoping to get the best frame rate and resolution uh, out of the 3070 Ti using a uh, cable like that so that's why we got that one. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is the uh, SATA to uh, fan cable. I was going to talk about that really quick with you guys. Um, I've seen these a lot, you know, where it's like you got the splitter and you can take where you got one and you can drive two. And I don't know, personally, I don't like the idea of doing that where you're um, pulling more power off of one port. So I like to use these instead. This is the actual uh, cable itself. So let me know what you guys think here. Uh, I, I don't know, I feel safer. I'm doing something like that rather than splitting more and more because we're going to be adding more fans in here and um, I guess you'll see. I don't know, but uh, feel free to give me your input on that one. So that's what we got laid out here. Hopefully I got everything that we're going to need and um, then we can go ahead and begin. So let's get that uh, CPU out of there first. I'm just going to take this little lever here and flip it down and then that guy's gonna come right out of there looks like it's pretty messy oops that just fell right out of there that's okay we're not going to be reusing this but I want to take care of it I'm going to take and clean this a little bit it's a lot of extra paste on there and then what we're going to do is um, sometimes you know when you buy the CPUs they send it to you in a nice little case like this I think that's going to be a nice way to just stash it on the side for now. Okay, so there's that. Here's our new AMD CPU. Now, like I said, this is uh, AMD 93900. Now, I know the 3900X is really popular. A lot of you guys like that one. I don't even know if this motherboard will take that. I went to the manufacturer's website for this board and it says that this is the top one and it didn't mention the X. So I'm playing it safe, I guess, and sticking with uh, this one here. So here, let me see if I can get this over by you. And we're going to have to match this up. It only goes in there one way. Uh, like say you might think that it's like this, right? And you go to drop it in there and it's not, it's not doing anything. Now don't no don't go forcing it in there. Uh, usually there's an index on there. Like see like this corner right here. There's an index on the board, and there's like that little dot on the board from the CPU. So 
looks like it's going to line up that way. And that, and that that's right. That, that drops right in there. You can tell it it, it fits right in. So that's that's totally proper. That's how you want to do that. Be careful doing that with your CPU guys. Take this lever, just pop it down, and there you go. That's great. Now this CPU, you see, it's got its own cooler, and it's all nice and fancy. Looks like it's got the cables for the. It's got some fancy lights on there or something, and this probably works pretty good for most applications. But again, we're not going to be using this uh, cooler. Uh, we're going to be using this one here. I think this is going to work much better. But before we're able to put this cooler in, because this cooler is going to have these big fins and all this stuff coming all around here, so. We're not going to just do that just yet. Um, first off, why don't we do that battery? That's going to be quick and easy. Mm -hmm. See how at the base of the battery there, there's a little tab. You just want to carefully pop that little tab off there, or, you know, not pop it off, I'm sorry, pop it to the side. And um, then it'll release that battery. The reason I'm doing this is because all you need to do is pop a big graphics card in here. And a, and a CPU cooler that takes up all this space, and then after a little while, the, you reboot the computer and the, and, the, and the time isn't right. You shut it down, you start it back up, and the time is reset. So that's what causes that is your battery right here. So before I go into that, I'm just going to push this little lever, I'm gonna pop that battery out of there, and just put a new one in. It hasn't given me a problem, but I'm not going to wait for it to do so. So here's the um, here's the battery. CR2032. Okay, so we just pop it in here. It's got a little springy in the bottom there. Just push it, clicks in place, and there you go. Now you won't have to be messing with that. Okay. Um, another thing that we're going to do here is uh, this is the uh, case fan. And I'm going to replace that. This seems like it's a little uh, light duty. I'm going to replace that with a new fan, and I'm going to put a fan here as well. So let's get into that. So to replace the fan, we got these screws in the back here. And I start down here. So why am I doing this? I know uh, a lot of people have seen my other videos, why I'm still mining. And I got a lot of mixed results, especially right now that it's not profitable, which I, I totally understand. Now, just like in all my other videos, I don't give out any financial advice. I'm not a financial expert or anything. I'm an industrial designer. But I guess we can talk about that in the video here. You see where this fan is connected. Off of the uh, power supply cable here. Off of the, there's like this Molex connector right there. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to hook it up a little differently. So I like these fans here, fan tech. I don't think that I had that in my sheet right there. Maybe I can find, uh, I'll find a screen cap and put that up on the screen so you guys see what I bought here. But these Fantech T30s, they, they work pretty good. Let's see here. That's good. So I got a free pack. We're probably only going to use two. So let's set that aside. Yeah, but they come packed well, and they give you extra cables, like if you need an extension. See, they have this too where you can daisy chain. You can hook up the power to one side, and then you can keep running fans off of that. I don't know, you guys do that? you feel safe with that? I just run a separate wire um, off of the power supply. I just feel safer doing it that way. I don't want to pull too much power off of one line, you know. Okay, so anyway, these are going to go in here. 
and let's see, maybe. Now, what you got to do is you got to look on here and you got to see where you got your uh, headers for your fans. And that is the header right up here that went to the CPU fan. So we're going to be using that for the CPU fan. And then we're going to have to see, like, I think there's a chassis fan 2 right there. And this is the chassis fan 1 right here. So we got to think about that before we go placing our fans. Because, like, you see right here, I go putting this one in. It's not going to reach even to that one. That one's the closest one. So we're going to have to use one of those extension cables to get it to go there. Um, this one is going to go to either spot. So that's fine. So they're just, like I said, that's just a uh, consideration before you start um, stuffing things in there, uh, what order you should do it in. So, also think about how you're going to be routing your cables. Maybe if you got this cable running up here, it might get in the way with the span. So, it'd be better for you to do it where it's down there. Also, you got these little finger guards or kind of grills, right? So if you if you install it this way, well, look at the airflow as well. Make sure it's going how you want it. But basically what I'm trying to say is if you hook it up this way and you get your finger in the case, it's less likely that you're going to get caught in the fan blades. But all we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to line up the holes. There's holes in the top of the case here. And we're going to pop the fan in there. You can see when they first built this PC, they just kind of built it kind of simple, which is fine. But we're going to be upgrading it. So, yeah, so like I said, I know it's not um, profitable right now. But there's a lot of other guys too on YouTube I see. They got a lot of stuff going on, big rigs. Big operation, and uh, this is just, we've only got like about eight GPUs, handful of CPUs, like a total of four rigs maybe. We're just kind of playing around and um, still proving it out, collecting coins. And you see a lot of the markets right now are down. But... Uh, my my way I look at it is I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna keep collecting these coins and um, when you look at these charts they're up and down you know so you go back in time and, and a lot of this stuff was up right now it might be down but I'm thinking it's gonna turn back up again and when it does I'm already gonna be holding on to a lot of the coins that I've been mining and to be honest with you guys. Right now, um, where we're at, we're in uh, Wisconsin, and it's like, um, it's in the 20s and the 30s outside right now, and we haven't run our furnace, we haven't run our heat at all. It's actually pretty warm in here to where we, upstairs and downstairs, where uh, we have the windows open, let some, let some cool air in. So I'm actually liking that. We're not really paying all that much in the electricity, and what we are paying, I'm, I'm getting... Coins. I'm getting crypto for it, for it, so I kind of like that. If it doesn't go back up, that's okay. Now, I'm going to put this fan in here like that and screw that down. I'm going to wipe that down just a little first. A little dusty. Okay. So yeah, like I said at the start of all of this, I just wanted to see if I could do this. Um, you guys uh, building computers out there, you know that... Um, it, it, it's, it costs money to do this but it costs more money if you're like see I, I was building uh, CAD workstations years ago and it seemed to me like if you were just to buy something 
off the shelf pre built, say it's going to cost you like five grand. But if you were to just buy all the components yourself and build it, you're talking 2000 maybe 2500 So you're going to spend that five grand, get twice the computer, and do it yourself. Unless if you just got all this money. But I learned to build these different computers. And I never never got into the mining computers. They're different. You know, but they're all, you know, you gotta have certain graphics cards, certain you know, CPUs and all this stuff. And just along the way I discovered, well, I don't know, I like doing this. I like connecting things, you know, you got all these different connectors, power wires and um, circuit boards and just I don't know I like I like doing this kind of stuff and I, I know I'm not the only one I know there's a lot of you others out there that just simply like to build PCs whether it's a gaming PC or it's a it's a minor or just you know an entertainment PC whatever whatever it is it's just it's just fun getting in here and, and, and building and doing this stuff connecting these things and and then once you see it's up and running it's all working it's like oh that's I don't know it's it's, it's rewarding so I like it, and I always have, and I, I always will. So, like I said, if it ends up paying me down the road, that's just great. So you see, I got one of these extension cables, and I wonder if I can get away with. Here's a little shorty guy. Let me take this top fan and just take this short little extension cable instead of using one of those long ones and connect it to the header on the board right here it's got this index here there's like four pins and then it, it mates to here just right you got to make sure that you connect it on the board correctly there oh, that's proper yeah so yeah maybe we'll route that under here that might work good yeah so then this one is going to go right to the header on the board right there so yeah and it's like you almost can't go wrong because these are all all these headers are configured differently you know so it's it's not that hard I mean sometimes you got to get the, the manual out and look at uh, when you're connecting the power switches and reset and the LED switches here you know but uh, we're not planning on messing with that today so it's fine so yeah now we got the uh, the chassis fans are hooked up and they're both on their own little ports coming off of the board there. And um, maybe before we go too much further, what we'll do is we'll install the hard drive right here. So let's get that going. I've used the Samsung, uh, the 980s. It seems like these boot really nice and fast and they work well. So we got a one terabyte. That should be plenty for what we're doing here. But this is just going to be mining part time on the on the CPU and on the GPU. Might as well do it on the GPU as well. Let's see if we can get a straight down angle here. Now, this isn't really hard. Just a little trick. You be careful with what you're doing. First off, you don't want to just go jamming it in here sideways. It, it kind of seems like it comes in at an angle like this. And then once you got it seated in there, then we're going to kind of just put it down here and then screw it to that spot on the motherboard and uh, those aren't your regular screws there's a certain screw for that but you guys are tuning in watching there's other guys making videos on this topic I know like I said people are down because it might not be profitable right now but still a lot of fun to be had it isn't something I think personally that you need to have instant rewards on when you're say you're playing the stock market here we go here's that screw or you're investing these things are like long term it's not something where every day you're making money okay that did not seem right there it isn't i mean i know you guys it was like that for a while where it was profitable on a daily basis oh wow I, um I'm making $200 a day mining or $300. Okay, that's that's great when it is very profitable, but it isn't always like that. But the value of the coins can go up. 
Okay, I'm trying a smaller screw here now. Okay, that seems to be threaded properly. Yeah, the other one had a thicker diameter to it. Okay, so that's good. Don't over tighten it, just enough, and that's good. The uh, SSD is in place there. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do next, I'm thinking, is we're going to put the CPU cooler on there because that's going to take up all this space here. And then we can start working on the graphics card, which is going to go right there. So for us to do that, we're going to have to pop these out. See, this is the regular factory mount for the AMD type of uh, fan. But since we're going to be putting on this upgraded one, I'm sure they're going to give us different kind of brackets to put on there that the fan is going to go on to. So I'm going to take the back side of the case off so we can get at the hardware better. See, there's this plate. If you haven't done this before, there's this plate here, and that's what's holding that stuff on the front. So we're just going to pop that out of there. But yeah, like I said, it isn't for me, I don't think it's an instant gratification kind of thing or an instant reward. Rarely do you see that where people, let's say some, some inexperienced person just goes into the stock market and then they just make it rich overnight. I uh, was, I heard this gold dealer talking the other day about how people, there's this phenomenon where people wait until the value of gold is so high and then they start purchasing it. Well, now it's harder to get and it costs more. It's that whole thing where they say buy low and sell high. You know, don't do that. Take advantage in a, in a market where it's like that. Not like I'm buying it. I'm not taking my money and buying crypto. I'm, but I am kind of exchanging the money that I'm paying for electricity. Like I said, I don't mind that because it's pretty cold outside right now. and We're not, we're not even using our furnace. So you see, now that I got those four screws out of there, this plate comes right off of the back. And that's how we're going to be mounting our new fan into there. Okay, let's set this aside. And let's get this open now. I think you need a good CPU cooler like this when you are... When you're CPU mining in a, in a closed case like this, it, that, that CPU with the regular cooler is going to get really warm and you're going you're gonna to tear through your CPU too quick. Yeah, now look at this thing. Yeah, now that that's quite a cooler there. That'll that'll do the trick even with this case closed up. So yeah, there's that. That's how you connect it. And then yeah, they did. This is I thought I got the one that had the two fans. This is going to work very well. And then you see why I got all those extra cables for the fans and again why I don't want to just keep branching off of one spot on the power supply. So, alright, so they give you, here's the fun stuff to uh, mount it. So they give you the instructions. Uh, of course what they're doing is they're telling you, well, the, we got uh, mounts here for the Intel style and the AMD style CPUs. So let's get in here and figure it out. So it is nice that they make them kind of universal. If I remember correctly, these are the ones that we're going to use for the AMD. So you see, they're telling us in the diagram this is how it's going to go. So we're going to set that stuff aside here and grab only what we need. And, oh, look at that. Isn't that really nice? They give you some extension cables if you need for the fans bunch of those. This, these are going to help us to mount the other fan onto the radiator part there. That's nice. They even give you some thermal paste because they know you're going to be swapping out the CPU. 
And yeah, like I said, they give you the splitter. I don't know, you guys, <laughs> I don't feel safe doing that. You guys use that? You guys like that? You think it's good? Tell me what you think. Yeah, again, that's that's what I use. Seems like there's enough of the SATA connectors, you know, coming out for the power supply just to give them each their own little spot there. Oh, and they give you a nice little badge. Nocturna little badge for your computer so everybody knows what kind of fan you got in there. Okay, so you got these little spacers. Some screws and little brackets. And that is what is that's gonna let us mount the fan like this to the CPU on either side. So we're gonna come over here, pop these guys in the position. Let me see, I can just start thread. Okay. There, now I can let go. Okay, so I have it started there. Now I'm going to just tighten it down, not really tight. I'm going to go evenly. Okay, that's good. I'm going to just snug it down. Okay, good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to start one here. Yeah, so this computer sits a lot of the time. So now when it's sitting, it's going to be mining for me. But then when it's not mining, when I want to use it, I'm going to be able to do some light gaming on it, which I like to do. And also, like I said, we're going to watch movies on it. We're going to hook it up to a 4K TV. And just use it for entertainment. Watch some fun movies on there and stuff. Now, I don't know really. I'm hoping to get a high frame rate. Let me know what you guys think. I've done this before, and it seems like the best I can get is like 60. And I, I know I should be getting more. Especially with the graphics card and the cables that I'm using, but let me know. So now that the thumbs are there, we can stick the fan in. And it looks like they give you these nice notches here on the little fins. So that way, when you pop it in there, you're going to be able to clear your RAM. So that's nice. No matter what, we are obviously going to need to get this fan out of here. Just pull on those little squeeze tabs because here are the mounting screws down here. So I'm going to test fit it again. So it looks like that's going to be good. Seems proper because the text is upright and it lines up. Let's just make sure it's not going to go in this way. Yeah, it looks like they made it either way. I think I've seen these where the cutout is only on one side for the RAM, but this is on both. So this is going to work. So, first, why don't we do this?
we're going to play, apply the paste onto our CPU. You want to remember to do this, obviously, before you put the CPU fan on there. So, I know they, they gave us some. I like this. You guys like this TG50 compound? Seems to work good for me. We'll give you a nice little spatula. Prep pad. And this is the coolest little thing. Everybody's got their own little way of putting the putting the paste on. Whether you glob a whole lot on or just a little dot or string it along, but they give you this little template here, which is pretty cool. Obviously, they think this is the right way to do it. So you peel that and stick it right on your CPU, right? Like that. And then when you go to put the paste on there, you squeeze your paste. Probably put too much. But here's the cool thing. You take your spatula, you fill in all those little holes, spread it evenly around. And then you will need more. No. I think really the key is just don't put too much and don't be really messy about it. But you want to have the paste on there. Don't don't ever do this without putting the paste on. No sense in doing that. Okay. Yeah, so it looks a little messy right now. But that's okay. Yeah, and don't touch this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel that. And look at it, beautiful. That's there's the paste. So that's great. Now, when we go and we tighten our fan down, we're going to do it evenly so that way the paste goes nice and flat in between those surfaces. That's going to keep it nice and cool. All right, this fan we're just simply going to connect to the fan header right here. And we're going to set it aside. We're going, to, we're going to pop it in here later after we get the CPU cooler mounted in there. Okay. And then the other fan we're going to put on afterwards and then we're going to connect that into the power supply. No problem. So this is something nice. Nocturna, they give you this little Phillips drive to actually screw this in there because most of your screwdrivers aren't going to fit in that spot. So there's just the two screws. There's this one, and you can see they're kind of spring-loaded. So just grab a couple few threads. Don't screw it down all the way. Same thing over here. Grab a couple of threads. Just evenly tighten it down. Couple on this side, couple on that side. Now you can feel when that screw is tight all the way, you can feel it bottoms out. It's not a matter of it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It gets to a point where it's not going to go anymore, and you just do not want to keep cranking on it at that point. Just bring it right up to that point, and that's it. You can feel that's that's where it stops. It bottoms out right there. Now this should be tricky. To say the least. How to get the fan mounted correctly here. This is pretty easy. You just kind of pull and click on there. But on this one, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver in there. And carefully get that little bracket over in there. 
I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do. Right, I gotta get that little springy bracket over the top part of the fan here. If I bend it down carefully a little bit. There we go. Okay, okay, so then we're going to stick the other fan on. This is the side here. And put the little springy clip on these mounting holes and then grab it and squeeze it and pull it out there and that's it. Now, it's going to be a little trickier on this side because it's much tighter, obviously. So we'll get this on the bottom hole. And the top hole here. Okay, great. Yep, and it's hooked over where it should be. This is good and secure. All we're going to have to do is hook up the power to it. So that looks great. All right, so now we got the CPU cooler and the fans in there, and that looks good. Let's keep on going. Bring this down a little. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay, now I said that we were going to do the graphics card next, and I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is the PSU next. We're going to do the power supply. This is going to fill up a lot of space in here. So before we do that, let's yank this power supply out of here. Oh, there's four screws. Actually, yeah, there's four screws in the back. that. Now we're going to take the power supply and great. So um, don't make this mistake guys. I was trying to think ahead and I painted myself into a corner. Of course there's this one cable that comes up to provide power to the motherboard and that's all the way up here buried beneath our cooler. So I'm going to do a I'm going to do a little magic edit. We're going to get that corrected and then we'll come back. Great. So thanks to the magic of editing, what we've got now is I took and I ran the power wire. I, I, I busted into the power supply cables and I got the, the, the motherboard cable connected already. And while I did that, I also did the 24 pin, the ATX cable. So we wouldn't have to mess with that. So we got those ready for our new power supply while we're taking out our old one still. So I'm going to keep taking this out. It's hooked up to, we have two, three hard drives in here right now. And we're still going to have three, but we're going to pop the solid state drive. We have two regular hard drives and we get a solid state. We're going to uh, use the motherboard, the NVMe in place of this solid state drive. So we're not going to need that. Those two are staying. This cable doesn't need to be here anymore in this adapter. Alright, so our cables, our power cables are tethered in here, and it looks like it's just because of this spot right here. I'm going to cut the zip tie. Alright, and then the power is going up to the DVD drive. There's a SATA connector. All right, so pull this thing out. This is a, it's like a 400 watt, really light, cheap weight. You're not going to do really much with that. And I don't even think that there's a way that you can drive 
a 3070 Ti off of this, <laughs> not safely. Yeah, and I think that a 3070 is probably 350 watts, so that's most of most of what this thing can handle. So, throw that thing to the side. Now, this tow power with 1800 watt capacity is definitely more than what we need. Oh, and they even give you a zip tie, the mounting screws, and the power cord. So we're going to stick this guy in here. Let's see. Okay, so... Maybe, maybe we can hook up some of the cables to it first. Looks like we're going to be tucked into a corner here. So let's do that. The 3070 Ti is going to need some, some of these on the power supply. We're connecting the PCI Express here. And then this is like that 6 plus 2 that goes over to the 3070 Ti. The 3070 Ti uses two of these, but I'm not going to use this where you have it jumped. I don't know, another thing, tell me if I'm going overboard guys, but I think that I would rather just use another port coming out of here, another PCI port, and then plug the one in and then the other in to the card from there, like that. So that's our two PCI Expresses. The CPU, we're going to connect to that spot that I redid right there. We're going to need some SATA connectors, and the ATX is ready to go. So let's get these SATA cables going. Looks like we got like a six pin here on one end, and then we got two SATAs on the other. So I pop that in here on the power supply. They give us a spot for one, two, three, four, five of those. We're going to use probably at least two. You got those fans and the hard drives to drive. Yeah. Uh, just in case, right now, we can always take it out later if we need. But just in case we need it, I'm going to pop three of those in there. Okay. So there's our wires. Why don't we do the CPU cable right now? The power cable going to the CPU. There's that. Here's our ATX. This will probably be all that we need. But if we need to pop more of the SATA connectors in, we, we, we should still have good access to that if we need to do that. So let's go ahead and set this guy in there. and then screw it down. Okay, so we'll screw it in just like the other one is was in there. So we're taking this computer, we're putting a lot under the hood right now. But it's still going to have kind of a basic, simple, cheap computer look from the outside, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, so the power supply is securely mounted in there now. That's good. And... Can have some fun hooking up these cables. We're going to set the PCI Express cables aside a second, and we're only going to work with the SATA cables. Here are, let's see, we're going to have two hard drives right here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pop another hard drive in here. So before I connect the power to the hard drives, why don't I go ahead and pop the third one in there? 
Also, we are not going to use this SSD anymore. So we're going to take that out. There's just a couple of screws that come in from the side. Hold it in place. Probably would be better off taking all this and putting it into an open air case. But I just wanted to spend only what I needed on the on the components that we were doing the upgrade with. So we pop that out there, and then this is going to be the new regular hard drive going into here. So here's a spot for that. There we go. We'll take that third hard drive and pop it into place. And that's where it's going to sit. stubby okay so we have six SATA connectors So we're going to use the first two on these drives here. Of course, it's got the index, so it only goes on one way. Okay, so here's the first one. Here's the second one. We're going to, this is the data cable for that one, okay, and then our next SATA cable is going to go here, that's good. You know, this one needs to stretch all the way up to the DVD drive all the way up here. So I'm going to connect that one. And I'm probably going to use another one for the next connection. There it is. Okay. So let's grab, we got more of these SATA type connectors. So I'm going to go ahead and pop one into the spot on the power supply. And then this is going to be where we run the wire to the fan. Like I was saying, I like to use these little SATA connectors that change it to the 4-pin fan cable. Here is the cable that goes to the fan. And then here's the connector off of our adapter. So we're going to connect that right in there. And that's good. Great. So then we have the new hard drive hooked up, the other two, the DVD drive is going, uh, the CPU, the case fans, all that is good. So I believe that we are ready to pop in the graphics card. Okay, so this is getting exciting now.
This is the Ventus G-Force version. I have a few others and I think they work really well. I like these. Like I said, if I had a, uh, I, I'd like to throw a 3090 in here, but I don't think that anything larger than this 3070 is going to fit. And this, I think, is even going to be a challenge in itself to stuff this thing in there. Okay, so there it is. Get that protector off of the board connector down here. And yeah, so that's what I was saying. You get those two PCI Express connectors for the power. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to drop this thing in from the top. And that obviously is going to be much easier said than done. Let's so get these cables out of the way a little bit. Actually, these cables are going to conflict a lot in that same spot there. So I'm going to cut the zip tie and get these routed away from this area. Because it's going to be right in here. So yeah, this too is probably going to cause a problem. This was a very simple computer and they had all the space in the world to work with. They probably never imagined that somebody would be doing this to it. Okay, that's the USB 3.0. We want to be careful with that guy there. Maybe we're just going to route that down here underneath the graphics card. Yeah, if everything tucks underneath the graphics card right there, I guess that would be okay. It's going to hang off into this whole area right there. Okay, do we have enough clearance here to begin? It's almost like putting a huge engine into a little Volkswagen or something. Let's see, let's do a little test fit. Yeah, you can see I'm asking too much already. Okay, well first off I can see we're going to need to pop out another one of these knockouts. We don't want to do that before we go much further. So with the screwdriver, this is one of these styles where it's got this bar that clamps it down. Okay, so I'm going to pop out this knockout here. Okay, and let's see if that's going to be enough for us. So I think we're going to need to pop this knockout here too for it to work. And then we're going to take the card and drop it in. We're going to come at an angle here first. And then there we go. Put it down in here. Okay, and we're going to seat the card onto the board. Yep, and it just clicked into place, so that's great. Wonderful. So there is the card, and you can see there's just <laughs> there's not much room for anything else in there. Cards mounted, and then now we're going to take. This is the 6 plus 2. It's an 8 pin cable. And plug it into the first spot in the graphics card to give it power. And then here's the other 6 plus 2. I'm going to plug it onto the other spot in the graphics card. There we go. It clicks on there, nice and secure. And we're good to go. Okay, so let's take a look now. I think that we have everything in here that we need. We're at the point where everything is connected. These are all the components that we want. I think all we got to simply do is just a little bit of wire management and we can put it all back together. So let's take these cables. And 
first thing I want to do is make sure that these are clear of fans, especially see these fans on the bottom of the graphics card. You don't want to have the cables clacking around in there and same thing with your power supply and these fans on the CPU. Just make sure all your cables are nice and clear of that. You have to make it really pretty unless you'd like to. But again, this is going to be in a closed case. So, thank you. So we're not going to see this, but we want to have good airflow. And nothing smacking the fans. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so maybe for now, We'll take these little protectors and put them back on these ports. It's nice that they give you these little protectors. There's one more around here. About to find it, but we're going to be using the display port on there anyway. Oh, this is what we also need to do. Now that we have the graphics card in here, we got to put this plate back. Like so. And screw it back on. I'm going to move the graphics card just a little bit to make sure this hole lines up. I'm going to screw it into. Tighten that down. And of course the 3070, like a lot of the others, it's got that tab where there's really like two holes there. So I'm going to extra secure it by screwing it there as well. Okay, very good. Stand it upright. Get the back case on here. Oh, this thing is a lot heavier now. Just slide it into those grooves, push it forward. So I know this is going to make a nice all-arounder now. This is going to be a good entertainment machine. This is going to be a good uh, light gaming machine. And it's also going to be a nice addition to our mining rigs around here. So when we're not using it, we're going to be mining on the CPU and the GPU. Again, I know that the GPU mining isn't really profitable right now. But I'm still liking the CPU mining. I'm thinking that's that's working out really well. And yeah, we're, we're going to button this up here. I'm going to pop Windows on the OS. I'm going to pop the Windows OS on the hard drive there. Get this configured. And like I said, we got the Hive OS on the little flash drive here. We're going to boot off of that. And also what I did was I got this little Bluetooth adapter. So this is a really easy way because this this computer doesn't have Bluetooth to begin with. It doesn't have it built in. It's even got a driver disk on there. So with this I'm going to add Bluetooth to it. Just simply pop it into the USB port here. And then when you do that then you can pop the DualShock 4 controllers in using like DS4 Windows or something like that. And then that helps with controlling, hooking up your PS4 controllers to it. I hope you liked the video. I hope that was informative. I hope you got something out of it. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Not only about uh, you know building a rig like this, you know what you guys think about you know mining still and maybe even gaming. It seems like it's a good time right now to get into building uh, gaming rigs or even just upgrading a, a regular PC that you might have uh, had laying around. Yeah, so again, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the bell for notifications. And one more thing. Happy mining.